the short story Further and Farther written by Brian Fred Orm McGregor on Saturday the 26th Sunday the 27th and Monday the 28th of November 2022 No, I was his only son. I will visit him now and then. The world's begun great. We are very much different in many ways. As I, the son, had a life in this city, and himself Mitch, my father, well, he lived and the entrance to her, otherwise blocked up mine as such. I'll be at that now everything behind his back wall in it was blocked up. Now I'm not sure whether it was a true mine as such, but it appeared so, you know, you know. Well, where he lived, my father, was beautiful in the trees that once sat there. We were cut down somewhat, short even after a fight storm. Left them dangerously overhanging the woodland walkways, just next to his place. Well, uh, myself, the uh, son, well, I would often come and see my father, and well, we would play simple games of cards or dominoes, I suppose those parts, especially back then, back then so long, long ago past, and still folk like these days. Now as his son, I would come in winter, oh from the north, as his senior it was beautiful, as I said, ever beautiful like that, and sometimes in full ski there, whenever the landscape was laden by deep snow. I also went fishing to some extent. Be obviously weather dependent as such. Well, so that last afternoon, back then, as I recall it, I spoke to my father about why he moved out here to be out here and alone. Well, he said he loved nature and uh, made the entrance which was now covered up inside. Turned into his home was great. And in any case, my father, well, he was a miner of the pits and proud one at that, as it were back then, in much or olden times. As my father added, the miners were proud men, and his home, which was nothing more than a tunnel into the ground. He said was where great men ventured into risking their lives on every occasion for Scottish tree and bushes as he put it. He loved the pits. They were him. They were his friends, his family, and all he knew back then. Well, he wished he could have passed his skills on to someone like myself. Well, things changed, life changed somewhat and also fuel, so it was convenient by running out ever more so with each day that passed. In those days my father remarked, the jobs were for life, for when you finish school, and that's the way it was back then, back then. But not no more, as he said, or at least less up so. My dad would say to myself, get a job that had a great sustainability. Or for the meaning they then had, or came with great spirit to others. We all knew about each other in the most. And my father loved me as a son. Whilst I was his only one, I guess I was flooded with everything he could manage, and he gave me everything he could. My mother was never talked about, and I never asked why exactly. It's just not spoke about. Well, I was never saw I never knew if it was tragedy death or 
said, well, she was somewhere else, you know. My father said she loved the pets too. As much as himself. And even with it being a very difficult life. In terms of hard work, the risk to it. When it came with remarkable benefit to the community and wider industries as a whole. So we sat in that old mine at the end of the city's carved out home in which we saw men by the hundreds walk down most days we of very difficult working conditions. At least more so back then anyway. Then my father smiled, looked up and looked down. We walked outside to the eye. He claimed to do some things, he did. Eventually conceded that my will, she disappeared back then with her dog when she walked across the grasslands. Nobody knew exactly what happened, but a gentleman that lived nearby watched my be pulled by her dog somewhat, which well was probably that rabbit bounding about in. It was a hunting dog anyway. And this was in his nature to do that. It's all well from what we see in us. Dragging mum about across the grass and chasing a cheeky little rabbit. It's new and was probably accustomed to the chase and just dodging about quite happily, away from the both. Well, that evening back then, Dad said. The evening became night and night fell and came and he never returned, neither of them. As the dog would wander off itself, and appear several days later, looking all sheepish and hungry. My father said he loved them both. And the last time he saw them so many years ago, they were never found. There was many open parts across that grassland, like large holes in the ground, which were hard to cover, hard to navigate in the dark, or near darkness. Some dogs like them, they need to be walked pretty much throughout the whole day and well. Mum tried that. She was never seen again, neither trace nor belongings found. By me. He often said, my father, that mother would joke about and say, if it was the to look at the distance, my favourite spot. And there, there she will look back farther. And father, and she would be there, looking back in the distance from where she was smiling. Well, well, at the time of her disappearance, when dad tried that, he went to the edge of the forest and did what he thought was best. What she said, you know, and looked across the grassland, further and farther. And well, he knew. He knew he would never see her again, but he also knew. She was looking back at me, from where she was, wherever, being wherever I was. You see, it was mum too, as such, that helped convince my father to go there to the pits and work their life. And on the first day he came home, mum gave him a little time and tiny. Well, that's what coat was made from, she would joke. She would laugh and say, Dad. My father was a diamond dude and she would always go that little bit further and farther from him. So that's a done thing, she said, for anything valuable. You see, it's there. There! She would say, as he would do. Well, my father said, as I mentioned earlier, practice long as up. Remember, you know, he said that. And I did he was going for a walk. And yet just before I walked off, he turned and smiled to me. Well, you know. Well, was I knew that little father and that little father. My dad spoke about it was somewhere much further and much farther from here. I knew he would return one day, however. It was 
is just much too far to walk back from for mum as we both knew. So I left my dad that day to do what he had to do, which was find himself. Was he that he came back? So you see, it is never too far, never so far that in return, that a return cannot be returned from, unless his dad said himself, that this father and father has gone just too far. My dad these days, after being away for some 20 years, now still says, find your own father and your own father for those you love most. I mean too also that you will have to come back from there if you go too far. So do what you do and not just for them. Them all but for yourself. And so always know further and farther. Best. Know your further and farther, but never too far. The End and a Brian Fred Warren McGregor production on Saturday the 26th, Sunday the 27th and Monday the 28th of November 2020.